Well, good morning. Do you want to go to Idaho? Because that's where this has to go. I guess it uh, blew a front wheel bearing. I don't know which one, but it doesn't matter. And they did not want to get it fixed here. So they're having me tow it back to Chubbuck, Idaho, where they live, back to their house. And I guess they're going to fix it there. So we've got it loaded up on the dollies. I ordered four brand new tires. And then these things showed up all jacked up and stretched out. The holes aren't even around them anymore. They look like they've been sitting in the bottom of a dumpster. And you look at the date code on these things, they are about six years old. So we're not going to put those on. We'll get some new ones. Send those things back. But anyway, just giving the truck a go, checking over because we've got about 550 miles ish to go. And a lot of people tell you you can't do that on dollies. And we're going to do that on Dolly. So come along. Let's go see what kind of adventures we get into in Idaho. All right, we got the truck all checked out. We got the Dolly tire changed. We got a spare. Uh, we just towed this thing. Turn around. 15.4 miles to get here to my shop. I picked it up at a motel where these people were staying. Got the logbook filled out. And we have another... 541 miles to go so it's gonna be a long trip let's get going I right, just stopped at the store here on the way out of town got a couple snacks for the road because once we leave this store it is hundred and thirty miles till we get to the next town and yes this is town this is the town of alfalfa where I live and that store right there is the entire town there is nothing else but they have everything you need there so off we go 130 miles to the next town all right we're about 70 miles into the trip out here in Hampton Oregon and that right there used to be a gas station and cafe but it hasn't been open in like two years so let's see how these dollies are doing this is our hub and tire that we're getting hot that is windy. 111 and 93. Now that's running right along with what everyone else was running. So I'm guessing that other tire yeah right close to the same. So I'm guessing that other tire this one here that has that little right there the little slit in it because the air pressure is the same the grease was good because I didn't touch the grease and now everything's running cooler so I'm guessing that little slit in the tire was just letting it flex that little bit more causing heat but everything's good so we're going to get back on the road and keep on trucking through the desert middle of nowhere out in the high desert I love it Alright, so I lied. We are about 105 miles from that last store and we just got to another town. This is the town of Riley. Yes, Riley. And that is the post office. That is the store. And just like back in Alfalfa where I live, that's the whole town. Just a store and a post office. Just like that, back to the middle of nowhere. And we finally made it into the town of Burns. This is the first gas station in the town. It's a hundred and hundred and thirty miles from Bend. And that store back there at Riley with the gas station, that closes at eight. So if you come through here after eight o'clock, it is a hundred and thirty miles between gas stations. So in the summertime, in the busy season, I do a whole lot of trips out here to bring people fuel that run out somewhere in between that stretch. And speaking of running out, we are at, of course the wheel's right in the way. Getting down there. So we'll get filled up and then keep heading east towards Boise. Alright, we're all fueled up, getting back on the road, and anyone that knows me 
knows I have a serious love of cabovers. All of them. Every single one. All right, well, let's get rolling again. Okay, we're just on the outside of town here and we're gonna pull onto the scales and weigh this to see just how much weight is on those dollies for this big long trip we're doing. These scales are closed, but we can still pull in and see what the weights are. I wonder if they have the readout on both sides, if I just gotta read it in the mirror back there. Oh, they do, sweet. Okay, front axle is 3,900 pounds. Back axle is about 9,200 pounds, which is good because we're good to like a little over 10,000 with these tires. And the dollies are at 3,100 and they're rated for 4,280. So we are golden all the way across. All right, we're back on the highway and the next real town we're gonna get to is Ontario, which is another 128 miles from here. So we're full on fuel and good to go for that. And I remembered what I forgot. I had that feeling I've been forgetting something this whole time. I forgot my sleeping bag and my cot because I was gonna camp out on this trip because I don't like hotels. I'm gonna do like a basically towing and overland trip all in one. Toverlanding. That's a new thing. Toverlanding. And we're going to do it. Except this trip because I don't have a sleeping bag or a cot, but if it's not too cold, maybe we'll just sleep on the ground anyway. So we'll figure it out. I don't know where exactly I'm going to stay yet, but somewhere out in Idaho. We'll figure it out as we go. But for now, turn around. There we go. Open highway for another 100 and probably 25 miles now. Can't beat the views out here, that's for sure. Tober landing. There's some cattle out there at the little watering hole. Just here's a tip for you, if you're ever driving through rural Oregon and you see a yellow sign that says open range, that is a warning that the cows are openly ranging or something like that. But what it means is you are in basically a giant cow pasture and the cows can absolutely be on the road if they want. And when the cows are on the road, the cows have the right of way. So if you hit the cow, not only are you automatically at fault in the accident, but you then have to pay the rancher for his cow. So you basically just bought a whole bunch of burgers that you didn't even get to eat on top of messing your car up. So if you see an open range sign, some places there's fences, some places there's not, look out for cows and don't hit them because it gets really expensive really quick. Oh, got a swather coming down the road. love farm country. That's a lot of onions. We are crossing over the Snake River, which means we have officially made it to Idaho on a set of Collins dollies. Now we only have like another four hours to go. So we're out here just uh, east of Mountain Home, Idaho. I don't know if you can hear me because it's super windy. But let's check these out. Hundred and twenty-five. Hundred and five-ish. Same as they were back at seventy miles. Same as they were at two hundred something miles. We're now at three hundred and. 60 I think still no problem at all these are all the same I already checked them but something funny to look at the car tire is hundred and nine degrees so the dolly tires are barely hotter than the car tires the trucks tires are 145 so the dollies are running cooler than the truck. 
So everyone who says the dollies are going to melt down if you go more than 50 miles. I'm at 370 miles. Still waiting for them to melt. Let's get going again. So we are currently in Twin Falls, Idaho. I know a while ago I said like another 100 miles to go, but I was totally wrong. And now we're like 120 miles to go. I counted wrong. But we're getting some fuel here. We're gonna run inside and get some dinner. There's a waterfall in the truck stop. Okay, got fuel, went pee. Now we're gonna head back out onto the highway for another couple hours it looks like. Let's go. And now that we're out of the truck stop making all the tight turns, we can boom in like that and bring that thing back up close to us. Um, I've got it sucked way up tight over the back of the truck to help with the weight distribution and make a lot better ride but it's too close to make tight turns because you'd hit the back of the truck. So luckily I have the inside controls. I can push that thing back away from the truck so I have room to turn to get in and out of the gas stations and stuff like that back there. Then as we get back out on the highway, close it all the way back up so that I get more weight back on my front axle and have a much better ride. Ooh. Upside down in the ditch. That's not good. still rolling looks like we got about 20 minutes to go 21 minutes to go the dollies are still back there well over 500 miles and everything's still going smooth we are off the highway for the last time some big old plant of some kind I don't even know what that is Simplot huh. it's big Still got some dollies back there. Let's go get this thing dropped off. We are finally, finally here. Just a couple houses up it looks like. One of these right here. I believe this one. We made it. 531.7 miles without a single issue. Yep, there they come out right there. So it's this house. Let's go see where they want to put this thing. Can't show me it's not a long drive across that desert, man. It's a really long drive in a tow truck. <laughs> Well, it is all yours. All right. You guys have a good rest of your night. You too. Thank, thank you. Be careful. No problem. All right. That is. It's over there if you can see somewhere, but that is it. Dropped off. I'm headed out of here. I don't know where I'm going to camp out, and I don't have any camping gear either but that just makes it more fun. So we'll go find a spot and see what we can come up with.
Okay, just found a spot I think should work pretty good. We're in some like open range cattle land um, out between, kind of between Burley and Twin Falls off to the east a little ways. And uh, I've got my sweater right there and a rain jacket for the night. I think putting both of those on it would be fine. I looked at the weather. It's supposed to get down to 42 at the lowest, so it should be all right with just those two. And if it's too bad, we'll climb back up here in the pickup and turn on the heater. But for now, it is just after, what time is it? It's just after 1 in the morning local time, just after midnight back home time. So I'm going to go to bed right over there and uh, see you guys in the morning.